Um, about exponential function graph, that means y equal to b power of x, uh, x that means our input is the power, but not the base number. And then uh, you find that as x become bigger and bigger, both this curve and another curve going up. So you think you keep multiplying some value and make the value become bigger and bigger. That means the base. Uh, should be larger than one. So every time we are going to multiply some number larger than one, so it's getting bigger and bigger. In co uh, in reverse, if we multiply some value which is uh, between zero and one, then the value, the magnitude, will become smaller and smaller and approach to zero. So now at least we know that b is larger than one and c is larger than one. If there is a graph like this. Uh, y is equal to d power of x, then d is smaller than 1. Uh, but this is not uh, here. Just in case there is another question like this, then you should know that. And then after that, uh, if we observe the curve b and c, you will find that b power of x going bigger. That means it's react more rigorously to our input. Every time we multiply x plus b, we'll make the uh, result getting bigger than C. So that means B should be a bigger value than C. But of course, uh, by using the graph, then how can we uh, uh, find out uh, what is represented, uh, representing C? We may consider a specific case when x is equal to 1. Then at uh, this point will give you B power of 1. That means the height here is B power of 1. Similarly, if we look at the second graph, uh, this will give you c power of 1. So, uh, by the fact that b is above c, so uh, b is bigger than c. Then we can look at the first uh, and the second statement. They say b is more than c, but the fact is b should be larger than c. So the first statement is wrong. Second, b times c larger than 1. It's because both b and c are both larger than 1. So their product should be larger than 1 also. The second statement is correct. Now come to the third statement. a, b to a, c. a, b is this length. a, c is this length. So uh, what anything special about it, about a, b and a, c? With the same height here, there is a corresponding input of x to uh, make the result become that height. So we consider this one is x, b. We consider this is another situation to make c become the same height. So this is x, c. And then uh, we find out a, b representing the distance from origin uh, to x, b. So basically it is x, b here. a, c is equal to xc. So now we are going to put it inside to the function. It's because their heights are the same. So b power of xb is equal to c power of xc, the corresponding x. Then we try to translate it. And then our target is to create ab over ac. That means we want xb over xc. So to do so, uh, I can't accept the unknown here. I have to move it into the front. The method is take log on both sides. And then we take out xb. And don't forget that uh, xb, that means ab here. xc, that means ac here. We can now rearrange to form our target ab to ac is equal to log c divided by log b. If you still remember, this is the formula to change the base. That's why this one is log c with base b. Uh, we check the statement is exactly the same. So the third one is also correct. Uh, the second and the third one is our answer. But of course, uh, because it's MC question, if you can reject the first one, basically you can choose an answer already. Uh, but 
if you can handle manage this kind of calculation, you strongly suggest to finish uh to check every statement to avoid any careless mistake.